Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm, and today I want to show you how to uh, get to your ProfiTap IOTA. So I took it out of the box, plugged the management port into my laptop, turned it on, and I just started Wireshark here. So I've got a trace of the IOTA booting up as well as my stuff. So here's how you figure it out, uh, the actual IP address, if it even has one. Let's go to statistics, go to endpoints, and there's my endpoint report. Down here at the bottom, you've got name resolution. That'll help you figure things out. My laptop has a Dell MAC address, so we'll see Dell. And the only other one is a solid run one. The rest are all multicast and broadcast. So right click, appliance filter, selected. There we go. And you can see all the stuff coming out from the IOTA. I see DHCP discover, 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 discover. I see a couple of IPv6 packets. I don't see uh, anything that would tell me it has an IP address because that would usually be a gratuitous ARP of some kind. None. So it doesn't have an IP. So if you look at your IOTA quick start guide or if you go online and check it out, the default IP is 169.254.1.1. So if we go to our command prompt and I try to ping 169.254.1.1, it's not, I'm sorry, it will work. <laughs> it's not going to work. It will work, so you can see that the actual IP works. Awesome. And from there, let's bring up our web browser. Let's see here. There you go. And I will type 169.254.1.1 colon 3000. Make sure it's HTTPS, by the way. I'm going to press Enter. We get our security certificate warning. We will continue to this website. And bang, we're on the box. So it's pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, not a big deal. Have a good day. Bye for now.